So after some debate and reaching out to a friend of mine, I thought to myself, what should we do for Hobby Box Wednesday? I still have the rest of the Marvel Box to finish off. I still do have four other Hobby Boxes of various things laying in the wings. I asked one of my friends and she said, no, you do Marvel. So we are doing the final half of the box of Marvel anime. <coughs> we got us the last week... Uh, there's odds on there, so I will keep them keep the box handy for a moment, but obviously it will go in the thumbnail. Last time uh, we saw this, I got uh, the Chibi Raccoon. Didn't get uh, a you-know-who, but he's in here, and we're going for him. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs left. A lot of hits still to come. Let's go. We're still looking for autographs and anything weird, and I know that's going to lead off, I think. Yep, it's going to lead off with the hit, so we're going to change that for next time. What in the world is this? A capsule card. Street level, the night Gwen Stacy died, and on the back, oh, it's, well, you open it, you'll find, uh, not opening it. Not going to open it, because we all know what's going to happen. It's just going to be something not good. But there is a mini card, something in here. We will let the fates decide and you know what we're starting off right off the rip the capsule card which i didn't even know were in there let's see are there any odds of it capsule card street level event one in 18 we got a street level event all right so pack one card one we've already busted the odds and then we're going to finish with who's this gore the god butcher now that is a freaking name gore the god butcher all right I am in for it. Okay, so we are going to... Alright, let's see if I can do this without destroying the known universe. I'll just slide it down off camera. Aha! We got it. Alright, moving on. We've got Nebula. We've got Wiccan. We've got Captain Marvel. Beyonder? Beyonder? For a split second, I was like, Beyonce? But no, that doesn't really look like her. And we've got one of these. These, I looked up, are the, the, thatched, the thatched foil design. And it is magic. It's a nice looking one. I like the thatched foil design. That capsule card. I gotta look into those. Those are... That's interesting. That's very interesting. All right. Slide to the back. It was another foil. But it's all good. Cap! Cap gets a stand because he's Cap. Cap and the Brotherhood. We have Storm, Quicksilver with the hair to end all hair, Dr. Druid, and we've got a foil of Mockingbird. I think these are just the base foils. Oh, wait, no, because these are the ones on the, the back, uh, the, the Japanese ones. These are the, um, I think it was the Japanese Mega Moon Tour? Yeah, the Japanese Mega Moon Tour which is uh, 1 in 12, the 1 in 4 for the thatched foil. We started off with that one last time and completely confused me. But now that we know the pattern, things can hopefully be a little better. Let's see Bishop, is it... Oop, oop, something thick. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Hold on, let me, let, me turn my, let me turn my ear to the northeast. Is that David I hear? Probably. Eh, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna reveal it because the thumb is preventing me. Wolverine's Journey. What are you? Wolverine's Journey, little subset. That is a beautiful looking design. Here's the artist. Logan is hunting the bear that had taken the lives of innocent human beings. He scales the cliffside of the Canadian Rockies up the up to the beast's abode. The bear knows Logan is coming, and Logan is prepared to kill. Well, he freaking better be if there is a killer bear. Uh, we're just going to set that there so you can still see it so I'm not Daviding the process. Oh, wait. We have the rest of that pack. We've got Hulk. We've got War Machine. Uh, Mighty Thor. And Black Widow. Love the design on these. All right. We're still waiting for uh, the Juggernaut. Still waiting for any of the other old school, the 90s X-Men I love so much. We've got Winter Soldier, Black Bolt, Ultron. That is a cool-looking version of Ultron. We got Rogue. 
Rogue gets up there because she was in the Brotherhood. Uh, she's off camera, but we'll get that in a minute. And we've got power level Green Goblin. Let's go. Love me the Green Goblin. That is... God, the, the, the art on these is great. Penultimate pack until we get to the big whatever it was. Uh, there we slide. I actually got it that time. We got Scarlet Witch. Kangaroo. Hmm. Shout out Australia. We got Miles Morales. Psylocke. And another one of these comic stacks, but actually this isn't clear cut. But the stacks are really awesome. One more pack to go, and then we reveal what in the world this is. So let's just get right into it. The actual penultimate pack. Slide that in the back. It was another thatched foil. We've got Namor, Ironheart, Firebird, Odin, and Iron Man on the thatched foil. And now... The actual ultimate last one. There's two cards, and it is a big, thick boy. So we're going to get the card out of the way. It is Kate Bishop. And now what in the world? It is a big, thick, and it's wood? Question mark? Well, let's just reveal it. It is a woodblock echo of Dazzler. Where in the world... Woodblock Echo, 1 in 24. I'm surprised that isn't more, but that is awesome. That is really cool. And yeah, that'd be some sort of wood grain right there. Yep. Marvel anime. I, I, I definitely say knocks it out of the park. That woodblock is epic. The street level is epic. But please, your thoughts down below. We did get Mojo in the first half, which I'm happy about. No Juggernaut, alas. But there's always next time with more Marvel. So until next time, have a good one, and we'll see you tomorrow for the jank.